All right, guys, air tank, everything's ran up front, all the wires, compressor, hidden gooseneck, ball pops out, custom double airbags just to support it, and the seven point, four point switch in the sidewall. Now we can start floating all these tabs up so they're the same height, and then we'll lay the seat her down and have a deck again so here's our wiring harness coming up uh, these three are the left turn the brake and the trailer brakes and then I just follow the other path to where now we have our our power auxiliary for the compressor for the trailer and the ground for the hole for the trailer um, and then we'll clean up some of this little bit of a rat's nest so we can get everything Streamline. All right, so I'm out here working, and little Bentley shows up with the chicken from the chicken coop. So Bentley's got to take it back to the chicken coop. So it's safe for this family, right? Good boy. Here you go. All right, go take it home so it doesn't get lost. Okay. All right, guys, I haven't been talking much because I've been building, but we got the COE back apart. We did add some custom airbags to help with the tow assists. And then we have a tank, compressor, the lines go all the way up front, and we have our custom quick release um, goose tank. So, this is stout, everything's stout here, straight to the frame, frame boxing, airbags. Should be good to go. I mean, it's the best you can do with getting a, uh, you know, light truck frame to hold a custom light gooseneck. Um, but that way the trailer actually stops itself. And then we have the bags to support it if we need to, if you're too tongue heavy. And, uh, we should be good to go. I also got this opportunity to cut out my wheels a little more, clear for these 24s. And then the uh, custom wheel covers right here, uh, the inner fenders, they'll actually fit now below this line because we're lower the deck a little bit and then the cedar will go down first, so. All right. All right, I'm gonna walk out here to the trailer, give you a little update on it. Um, so we have our spare tires getting mounted. We have to get our lug nuts ready. And then battery, all the wire, wires were already ran. So that part is just us wiring up everything so that, um, you know, trailer brakes, the brakes, the rear light, both sides, they all run up here to the jack the winch, the compressor, the tank, and then they'll run up here to conduit, and I'll have a box system that has every wide label. Um, so this trailer will be fully functional for left and right turn signal brakes, airbags, the, the electric brakes, um, the compressor, the winch, everything. Even if the COE doesn't run all those options, uh, it only has one tail light, so it doesn't have turn signals, right? Um, I guess I could add that pretty easily since the wires are there in the COE now. But at least the trailer could be pulled by another vehicle and have every function that it needs. So it's coming along. I'm really happy with the uh, the rustic patina look that we did on the fender. So it matches that COE really well. Can't wait to see it all on it. And I really just can't wait to see these airbags function. Psh -psh -psh. 